Hi guys, um, it's currently Tuesdays and I thought I would give you guys a little update on how the week is going so far. Um, I'm still testing out this vlog thing, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Um, so I see that I say that a lot, don't I? Um, so I'm just checking in, I think. I think I want to just film a little bit every time I feel like I need to say something. I don't know if this is even the focus. <laughs> uh, but uh, I am <laughs> extremely nervous about starting it. Like finishing the illustrations. It's nerve wracking. And I feel myself procrastinating a lot because I don't want to do it. Um, so I just have to jump in that today, I think, and start actually finishing one. I think the first one is always the worst one. So I'm going to choose one of the easy ones without any perspective stuff and try it out, and you'll probably see it right after this clip. Um, on the other side of things, uh, we had a wonderful stream yesterday, which was Monday. We did some commission doodles, five dollars, and I doodled some drawings, and that was really fun. And there was a lot of people. My computer crashed halfway, but that's all right. <laughs> um, and also, I wanted to do this on camera. I got this book. Um, I found it yesterday, and I found it because I remember that this is one of the books that I read when I was growing up and <laughs> it just made me really really want it and apparently it's translated to a lot of languages you can probably find it in your own language I ordered it in English just to have it in English I used to read it in Norwegian and I, I haven't looked at this in years but it's called Findus um, anyway I'm gonna start drawing that. I'm gonna stop procrastinating, but I'll link this down below if you guys want to see it. It's called When Fenders Was Little and Disappeared, and I will put it down below so you also can buy it if you want it. So, yeah, let's get to work. Okay, hi guys, um, it's a Wednesday and I said yesterday I would start like refining something but I didn't. I ended up being <laughs> caught up with what size the book would be and what resolution it would be and I just procrastinated that way and now, well I did fix the ch sketch, like you could see the difference between the two compositions and I like the change. I just have to get the guts to start it. Um, I guess this is what we'll talk about. This comes out. Having the guts to start. Also, it's freezing because I just came home and the heating's not on, so I have my tea. And just gotta warm it up and <laughs> and do this.
Okay, so hi guys, um, it's currently Saturday, um, you've been seeing me in the earlier days of the week as well and I didn't expect myself to vlog, but I did and I guess that's kind of cool because it's made this video a little bit more interesting than just me uh, drawing in the dark. <laughs> um, there is some few things that I want to talk about today um, and I hope you guys are excited for another one of these videos where you see my face and you see me draw. Um, I didn't actually finish the illustration that you saw me start, but I did start it, and that's all that matters for me this week, actually. Because I was so nervous, and it's been so long. Uh, it's been so long since I started the project, and I knew that I wanted to do it, and I just... Uh, the pressure I put on myself for to make like a really pretty illustration, and to make exactly what I think and see in my head, is pretty overwhelming and it shouldn't be like that it shouldn't i do it because i want to do it i do it because i want to make something and i the only way i'm going to make it is if i just do it and don't worry about if people are going to like it am i going to like it is is it going to sell and I started! I started it and I started cleaning up the colors and I'm going to finish up cleaning up the colors today and I'm pretty pretty excited! Uh, also, I'm trying to get this video up on early Saturday, which is today, <laughs> and um, but I will try to get it up on Friday next week uh, because the weekend is the most exciting days of the week. Um, I do really want to go out and draw on the, in the cafe or yeah, I could just go outside, really. Um, because all the other days are just me in the dark, and it's kind of boring. <laughs> and I kind of want to show you guys more. And I do myself want to go outside, I feel like just staying inside here is a bit draining in a way. So I want to get outside. And that means that if I get this video up on Friday, like my usual schedule, then I'll have the whole weekend to like film more content for the next Friday and I won't be too stressed about having to do something at the end of the week, if you get what I mean. Um, so this video is kind of boring again, uh, but next video will probably be a little bit more exciting because I will finish one illustration and I will start another illustration and oh, it's almost time for a monthly illustration as well, so I have to do that as well. Okay, so another thing that I want to talk about was why I started YouTube and why I do this. And the reason I started thinking about it was because of this new YouTube thing, new, I don't know what it's called, but policy. I've been, I haven't read into it much, but I've heard a lot of people being outraged because it will stop young creators from creator creating and all of that. And honestly, I don't... I can see the frustration. I see how angry it can make people and how like crushing it could be to get something and then they take it away because two well four thousand watch hours is a lot of time like I barely made it like I have over a thousand subscribers but I barely had enough to <laughs> to have uh, four thousand watch hours and I can see I think if I was taking away my monetization and my ads, I would be angry, but it wasn't that much money. Um, it was not that much money. And I can't, you can't even get that money before you have like $60. And that takes a while if you only have, if you have under 4,000 watch hours, that takes a while. So, at the same time, you have the analytics. Like, I didn't even put on my monetization until another friend of mine, Milana Mel, I'll link her down below, she told me to do it because the analytics, because YouTube favors videos with ads because it's kind of like a quality filter. Um, so that way my videos would be viewed more and I would grow faster and I was like, okay, I can try that. It was nothing about the money, really. Um, but I can really see how this kind of discouraged people from it. Um, but I was also watching other creators like um, Bailey J, she told us about how when she was starting up it was even harder to get monetization and um, how it's actually pretty okay the, the way it is now and anyway how it shouldn't really matter about the money I know about the analytics but I think if we 
we as an art community because oh my god the art community on youtube is the best community i've ever found online anywhere it's it's mind-blowing to me like there's so many nice people everyone's active commenting sharing um being really nice <laughs> like i've never had this on like instagram or even art i've never had this kind of community and Honestly, right now, that is why I do this, because I want to share with you guys, I want to grow this way. I do love the attention. <laughs> I, I do like it, and I think it's exciting. It's exciting to share stuff, it, it's exciting to see what you guys have been up to and do stuff for you, and also it pushes me to do art. And for me right now, that's why I do YouTube. It pushes me to do stuff. It has kind of like a deadline. It's like a Friday deadline, so I always have to do something. I can't just lie down and watch movies all day. I have to do something. And doing something makes me improve, which means I can get work and I can do more freelance. And of course I have my full-time job, which is being an artist, but it's um, it makes me do my own art. Because I could have just like said, nah, I do art all day, I don't really need to do anything when I come home, but then I wouldn't have anything to put in my portfolio or anything like that, so it's kind of like, I push me, well, this push me and you guys watch, <laughs> and I was, I started thinking about why I started YouTube, because I know when I started, it was never about money, I like, I never thought I could make anything about, like, with YouTube, and now it's slowly growing, and um, we're almost at 4k, I think we're at we're 40 subscribers away from 4k and it's growing quickly I didn't expect it to go this quickly and it's it's pretty exciting and I think when I started I never thought I would get this far <laughs> I do like the idea of growing and being bigger and like just having a bigger community but also I really enjoy the size we are at right now where I actually can still barely <laughs> comment like reply on all your comments and be active and i just want to continue to do it and i i think it somehow it can help you guys and somehow it'll help me and i started why did i start i started because i liked i saw other artists do it and i thought i can do that um that's kind of my mentality is I do art because I like it myself and I also like do art because I see other people do it and I see it as a challenge more than a hindrance. I see someone do something and I'm like, I can do that too and I will do it. And um, yeah, I have a pretty head-on competition instinct going where I want to get better. <laughs> <laughs> that's how I think I've gotten better and I also really like the reaction to people how they react to my art and how that works out in my favor um, so I just want to say to everyone that is discouraged about like small creators I'm still think considered a small creator um, don't be discouraged do it build your community comment on other people's community like video videos um, share videos, let's make a community where the art community on YouTube is great already and let's just like sh spread the word about other channels and let's get like the word out that way. I think that's the way to grow, that YouTube analytics doesn't really work that way. Like, I think the only way I've grown is because I've done collaborations, I've, I've commented on other people's videos and that's kind of how I've grown. And I think that's what we should continue doing and that leads me to something else I'm going to talk about today. So what I'm going to start doing is that at the end of every weekly video like these ones I will talk about an artist that I have discovered on YouTube or Twitter, most likely YouTube because it's more about YouTube right now and I will share their work and I why I think they deserve more than they have right now even though they, they say they're happy at where they are at but um, I do really want to help. Uh, well, I, I, I want to spread the word. I want us, everyone, to kind of push each other a little bit. Like, say hi, <laughs> this is me. <laughs> um, and, uh, and, and see, oh, I found this a great artist. And I think 
I my new style of videos doesn't really allow for a lot of collaborations, but I don't mind mentioning other artists. Like if I really think they have something and I, I I start watching them and I'm excited for their content, then I will share them. So I will share that at the end of the video and she is great. I think she really deserves more. <laughs> okay, so that's the news for the week, I guess. Um, I started my illustration. Wow, it started. It's great. And if you have any projects that you are starting, please share with me. I really want to know. I really want to connect with you guys. I want to see what you guys are doing, so show me. Um, we're going to start featuring uh, smaller artists on the end of the video, just to push them a little bit and like share creators that we find and we like. And then the third thing is to buy me coffees. <laughs> it sounds like a really bad thing to say, I don't know. It's a, it's Instead of Patreon, that would be fun. Um, I was planning on having that thing as a Patreon reward, where you get your name at the end. And then I'm not doing Patreon, so why not do coffee instead? You can decide when you want to have your name at the end of the video. Um, it will start... The time you can do it for the next video is... From today, when the video goes up, and then till Thursday, yes. Okay, so let's do the feature of the week. Um, the feature of the week is Exante. Uh, I found her yesterday, actually, um, through Twitter, and uh, Fairly Little Peach was uh, promoting some channels that she found, and she was down there in the comment section, not in the big section and I clicked on her video and I was like oh my god <laughs> like why is she like bigger like she's just the look of her videos are so professional and her art is really cute and just her is really I'm really excited to follow her more I haven't watched that many videos but I I know she's gonna be big someday <laughs> so I am following her now and I really like her stuff and oh my god let's let's Yes! <laughs> um, she does the kind of art style of videos that I want to do, where she shows her face and she talks more to the camera, more to like personal videos. And I know she doesn't worry too much about like the numbers or anything, but I think you guys in my community are so nice and so awesome. And if you do like these kinds of videos where people are more personal, then go check her out, because that's what she does. And I really like her art. And she also likes children's books, which is also a little tick in my box. So go check her out. I'll put her here, I think. So guys, that is it for this week. I hope you guys liked it. I know it's a bit of like an inside video where I'm just drawing all day and you saw me being cold and yeah. Um, but I hope you guys liked it anyway and next week hopefully will be a bit more exciting and I will finish the illustration you saw me start on and I will also start a new one and also it's almost um, monthly illustration time as well, which will be very exciting because it's Valentine's month, so yay! Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like this and I will see you guys next week. Oh wait, 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 see you guys on Monday because we're streaming. Um, if you didn't, if you missed the last stream, you can still watch it and if you want to watch the next stream, you can put that, click the little bell icon and you'll actually get a notification when I do go live, so yes! Um, I'll see you next week. Bye bye!